July 30, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and six months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 522 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Starlink satellite communications may be disrupted entirely in and around Ukraine. The Kremlin continues to creep and often fail to advance, despite claims of 100,000 and 900 armored vehicles ready in the north. More drones and missiles into ancient Ukraine's Targan Rook on the Sea of Azov. And even more drones and missiles into other areas all over the Russian border oblasts adjoining Ukraine. The number of interceptions by Ukraine in the last 24 hours were notably small, due to a near total reduction in missiles and drones fired by Moscow, and it's unclear why. Dnieper Line Moscow ordered 313 shells fired into Kherson Oblast in the last 24 hours. At least three civilians were wounded. Zaporizhia Front Kremlin mouthpieces have been silent about Robotyne, except for some bragging about damaged and captured Ukrainian equipment. At Morkioli those same mouthpieces have been claiming that the Kremlin's troops pushed Ukraine out of positions, but have shown no images to prove this. East Front, Donetsk. Once again reports of Chechnyans sent to die in Marienka and the village of Pobeda. A Kremlin combat officer sent a video message to the commander of the Chechnyans that he was going to summarily execute two drunken Chechnyan troops near the front. One of these troops was already suffering a recently bandaged head wound, suggesting he was already unfit for combat. Bakhmut area. Shelling continued by both sides, only limited duels reported. Once again no publicized ground engagements. Oskol border front. In this area Russia has the capability to use its combat aircraft with more regularity, contributing to the number of shelling events. Kremlin mouthpieces are reporting they made more attacks north of Torskay, but have shown no proof of advances. Around the village of Novodane west of Svartove, where the Kremlin forced its way into a valley two weeks ago, the army of Ukraine is claiming it has halted and is making reverse of the Kremlin's thefts. North of Kupiansk both sides are reporting Kremlin attacks, with Ukraine claiming repulsed and Kremlin claiming entry into a town, which they claimed they entered last month. Northern border. Attack drones from unknown places have been appearing in Russian oblasts all over this front. Ukraine spent the day shelling a checkpoint in Tyodakino, according to the Kremlin without effect. Black Sea. As noted earlier, drones and missiles were landing in Targan Rock which has been claimed by Moscow for a few hundred years now. However, historically, Kievian Rus, whose capital was in Kiev, controlled all of the Sea of Azov, including the land of Rostov on Don. A small commercial fleet of ships from Turkey, Israel, and Greece sailed unaccosted to Ukrainian ports with their navigation beacons declaring Ukraine as their destination. Ukraine World Related a former Kremlin president and rumored alcoholic appears to be attempting to gaslight Elon Musk by claiming escalation to nuclear world war is a less dull option. Unfortunately for him, we agree. Putin announced that the Russian Navy would be getting 30 ships of various classes this year. Discussion of upgrading the various rail lines between Ukraine and Croatia for grain delivery to the numerous Croatian ports on the Mediterranean are ongoing. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.